Artifacts are the most crucial sources of lore in the entirety of the game because they are the main sources of histories in the past. The problem is that... Uh... Huh. So today, I'm going to cover a really quick summary of every artifact set in Genshin Impact. Take note that I'm only going to cover their general gist, the characters involved in their stories, and their overarching narrative. This is part one of a very, very long series. I won't be going over the deep details of each set given that this video is supposed to be bite-sized. I'll have separate videos for them in the future so I can get deeper into their story. But nevertheless, let's begin. The Initiate The Initiate set only has two artifacts, namely the Initiate's Flower and the Initiate's Feather. These were the artifacts attached to the grip of a traveler's first sword, bearing the modest dreams of its wielder. The Adventurer set the adventurer set talks about the story of an ambitious adventurer that survived the harsh environment of an ancient city, perhaps an old civilization that was also destroyed by Celestia. They describe the lost ruins of their lifeless land to be a gloomy ruin, a city within the heart of darkness. Here, he saw a girl, a girl with a surreal appearance and a cluster of feathers adorning her hair. The ending of the story talks about the countless secrets that lie hidden in the stars high above and the abyss deep down below. All of these things are awaiting discovery by mere mortals. Lucky Dog The artifact of the Lucky Dog talks about luck, fortune, and miracles. Once, while playing in a field, the carefree young boy known as the Lucky Dog happened across a clover. With that, the mysterious miracles plague his life just by merely being at the right place at the right time. A monster was lurking nearby and the boy was distracted by some colorful mushrooms. The monster pounced on him, but landed on the poisonous mushrooms, stomping them flat. Lucky Dog's story is the opposite of Bennett, a child favored by fortune from the day he was born, untouched by thieves, bandits, or any dangers. And what's even better is that his luck allowed him to find priceless treasures even in the deadliest of traps. Traveling Doctor The Traveling Doctor was a woman who traveled across the land in search of rare herbs. With the zeal of an adventurer, she would work night and day helping her patients. To her, when treating a dying patient, every second counts. With her bitter medicine, the traveling doctor saved countless of lives. However, by the fate of the gods, she herself fell seriously ill. And when the doctor was on her sickbed for her final days, she had no one around her. All she could do was savor the sound of a ticking clock and wait for the last precious moment of her life to fade away. Resolution of Sojourner This artifact most likely talks about Mondstadt's looting her past him during the time of the Lawrence clan and before the intervention of Barbados. The Resolution of the Sojourner talks about the traveler from a distant land that simply liked wandering. The traveler was a musician who abandoned his homeland, who reminded himself to love no one and become attached to nothing. He had a troop once, comrades that joined him in his time of wandering. He would drink with them in the taverns and sing songs with them. It was here he met a maiden that he became infatuated with. He and the maiden grew to love each other, but that maiden was from the country of wine. And unfortunately, she was a prisoner of nobility. Perhaps the corrupt aristocracy of Mondstadt, all things considered. The maiden says that she will be offered up as a sacrifice for the festival. And with that... The maiden disappeared like a dandelion on the breeze. Tiny Miracle The Tiny Miracle talks about fate and how it works in mysterious ways. The speaker asks if meeting someone is a miracle in and of itself. However, what people don't know is that some of these artifacts come from the fallen stars of ancient times. Berserker The Berserker set talks about a man whose homeland fell victim to the raging war between gods and mortals. In the days before the Berserker descended into madness, he would sometimes pause in the rose garden for a moment to himself. He had never had a family, nor had he a lover or a friend. In the past, the rose garden burst into flames and birds, and vengeance and bloodlust took over the warrior's mind, turning him into a berserker. He ravaged the land, fighting the monsters and humans alike, and even challenged the gods. He soon faced a large monster whose horn he broke off to become a goblet. With all that battle, his face was no longer recognizable, and the Berserker wore a battle mask. Instructor The Instructor was a strict and serious soldier. He once sharpened his own combat skills on the battlefield, but after the many wars, he became an instructor to students that also wished to continue that legacy of battle. According to him, I don't have the talent to command an army as its general, 
nor am I qualified for anything beyond being an adventurer. All I can do is to be a strict instructor to these children, so that they might survive on the battlefield a little longer. However, after many moments of teaching, the instructor visits the tombstones of the fallen veterans of wars gone by. The Exile It all happened before the exiled aristocrat was involved in the family feud. Having witnessed the cruelty of humanity, the exile left his kindness and gentleness in his past. The exile traveled alone in the wild. He may have brought shame to his family, but he carved out a symbol of which he was once proud about. Defender's Will He was known as the guardian and a defender during the Cataclysm. During his time alive, he took on two ways of upholding justice. But in the night, he would shake off his restraints and do things that needed to be done by someone that wasn't known for being an upstanding knight. He defended others in the shadows. He was a knight that was sent on an excursion during the Cataclysm, only to never return to the maiden he loved. This artifact also mentions his superior Arundolin, and the white knight he once mentored would soon be known as the Bloodstained Knight from the Bloodstained Chivalry series. More importantly, the maiden mentioned in this tale will soon be known as the Crimson Witch of Flames. Brave Heart The Brave Heart follows the story with Arundolin's tale from childhood. Arundelin and Rossum were childhood friends that would slip out of the doors by night and go into the wolves' forests. Interestingly enough, there he found a long-hidden flower that had yet to wilt, while everything else around it had changed with the passing of years. The flower described is yellow and small, unlike the Intavot we saw in the Archon Quest. Moreover, the lore about the Cataclysm is mentioned here. When the Black Curses poured forth, the roots of disaster infested the earth. However, Rostam would die in the Cataclysm, while Arundelin would be able to return home. Martial Artist The Martial Artist story is one about hardship. Ever since being recognized by their master, the Martial Artists pursue their dreams long and hard. The whole artifact set talks about how the bearer of the set practices martial arts at a young age. It also represents the high ambition that young martial artists once had. The Gambler Set the Gambler Artifact Set talks about a woman who cheats in her gambling games. The Gambler subtly swaps in a hidden game-changing card. The Gambler would only sneak this dice out of the brooch in an urgent situation. She also had this golden pocket watch in her breast pocket. The earrings would be coated with a mildly sedative substance to keep the Gambler calm in the game. Whether you call them cheating is up to you, in all honesty. Gamblers like to flaunt their wealth, although their money could disappear overnight. And that's it for today! This is part 1 of a very long series of artifacts. For the next one, I will start covering the 5 star artifacts and the prayers artifact set, which deserve its own video. Also, if you ever decide to read the archive, I really really suggest you start with the artifact set. There is so much lore in here that I find really really weird. But nevertheless, my name is Austin, thank you for chilling with me.